So I don't know if you guys, well, no, you probably don't. I bought, I bought a new TV for the office because I had an old TV there, but it wasn't really working the way, well, it wasn't working perfectly. So I ended up wanting a 4K TV in there, but nothing too big. So I bought a little, a little, I say a little, but a 43 inch TV. And I'll, and I'll do a review of that actually, probably, probably tomorrow. Just, just a quick review for it, just so you guys can see what I bought, because it's probably one of the cheapest TVs, and the quality, I was just like, wow, that's actually, for that amount of money, quite quite good. So, I bought that, and everything about the TV is actually exactly kind of what I wanted for there. But, I like getting some extra sound. So, the folks over at, I'm going to say this probably wrong, Sacobs, Sacobs, something like that. They actually sent me this little Bluetooth speaker. It's tiny. It's a little Bluetooth soundbar, which is kind of cool. But these things are really inexpensive. On Amazon right here, Amazon Canada, you're looking at, it says about $46 with an $8 coupon. So you're looking at like 38 bucks for a Bluetooth speaker. Now, if this thing has any kind of sound quality, will it be better than what my TV produces? I don't know. But the other thing to realize is that these guys, Sacobs, Sacobs, my apologies if I'm saying your name wrong, but these guys have all kinds of like budget friendly sound bars. So they do make ones for a TV. And if this one sounds decent, uh, I may actually look at their bigger sound bars because you can pick one up, I think for like 60, this is US, about 60 bucks US, I think it is. That's not too bad if you are looking for some better sound than what like your TV provides. This one though, really for me, I would probably use it more for let's say your laptop or you have a computer that doesn't have great speakers or you have a tablet or even like your smartphone and you just want some better sound, if you, especially if you're not gonna be wearing headphones, this could be a real option. So as we can see on their website right here, or the Amazon listing, computer speakers, Sacobs 20 watt Bluetooth 5, PC speakers for desktop, laptop, USB powered, wired, wireless computer, sound bar for da 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 da. 18 hours plus playtime, that's, that's pretty good. Has a microphone, a three and a half millimeter aux input and ability to put a micro SD card, I believe in there. So right now it's got 32 ratings. So that's not a ton of ratings, but I believe these are fairly new. Four and a half stars. It looks, looks pretty good. This is, this is the box, Sacobs, right? Model DS5103, just in case you actually go to their website, which I'll put a link down below as well. And you look at some of their models, you know which one I got. So we're gonna crack open the box. We're gonna Bluetooth it, I think, or connect it somehow. We'll figure that out to possibly my laptop and uh, we'll see what it sounds like. Yeah, coming up. All right guys, so looking at this high quality audio. Yeah, I'm with you. We all love high quality audio. What else do they got here? So superior, you can see it here, 20 watt high performance drivers, crystal clear up to 16 hours, that's crazy, 16 hours, which is which is good, you know, this means you could take this, you wanna go camping or have it outside, you just have it charged, you're good to go. That doesn't have to be like a home. Built-in microphone, which is also really cool because if you want to set this up with your laptop or whatever, you can use this for communicating. So it's not just a speaker, but you can use this to, on Zoom calls or FaceTime calls or whatever, especially if you're, let's say, a business and, have a bunch of people around. This is just gonna give you a nicer sound. You can kind of center this closer to the people and have your computer a bit farther away. That's also really nice. I guess just showing the size there and optimize for listening. Look at this person here. She's like, she's out, completely out. She's like, she's in it, wider range. All right, I'm with you. Okay, let's, uh, let's crack open the box. I have a knife here. I do, promise you I do. Okay, do I even need it? I don't. Nope. Okay, open this up. And first off, we get some, okay, so you, that's actually really nice. They give you like the headphone style auxiliary cable, so it comes with that. So that's that's a win right off right off the start. Good win. Anything else in here for cables? Oh yeah. Okay, well that's it. That's it in the box. We also get, we also get a USB-A to micro USB. Not USB-C, I always complain a little bit about that, but 
They give you the cable, so that's that's a win. So we can charge this if we need to. And it's micro USB, so a lot of us still have those floating around. Most of us probably have a bunch of them. USB-C would be nicer, but I'm not gonna complain too much, just a little bit. And comes in this nice little kinda, it's like a bubble wrap type paper, I guess it is. Is it like a bubble wrap? Yep, it's bubble wrap. Slides out and there we go. So you get little rubber feet on the bottom. There's the back, I'll turn it around here. There's the back, so cobs, there's your auxiliary where you can put your micro SD card, uh, USB, and where you're able to power it or charge it. So looks like it even runs, you could plug a USB, maybe like a USB thumb drive in there. That's all right. And I like the fact too, there's the front. Doesn't have like a removable grill, it doesn't look like. But size wise, I'm hoping you guys, can, you well, you guys can see that in front of me. That's a decent size, hey? Looks nice, nice finish. And what's cool about it, just so you guys can possibly see it here. When it sits, it sits, you guys see that? It sits slightly as they said here, it's slightly angled up. So it's not flat, it sits with a little bit of an angle so that it, it fires the sound upright. Right, so you can see that on the side, it kind of sits on this angle. You could even put it up like that, right? Just to get it up even higher so you could have it this way. Because the feet, the feet do on both. So depending if you're you're wanting it like that, or you're like, nope, let's crank that up a little bit. Crank it up a notch, get that sound really up there. I like that, that's smart. That's, a, you know, it's it's something that's small, but it's it's very it's very useful. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it, just kind of this way. Uh, I'm gonna take this and we're gonna plug this in because I don't know how much power it has. I don't know. Uh, USB cable length, it's not crazy long. So what is that? Let's say maybe th two, maybe three feet. So it'll, it'll do. Plug her in. Okay, I'm guessing that's, I'm guessing that's it. Feels right. Hit the power button. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you gotta hold it, because it's lit. It's flashing. So what I'm gonna do is go to my computer here, and let's just see if anything shows up. Open Bluetooth, okay. Anything? There it is, Sikobs, connect. Bidoo, connected, voila. Okay, fantastic, so let's See what this thing sounds like, yes? Because I guess your mode, my guess would be that it's gonna go through the different inputs. It defaults to Bluetooth out of the start, so that's okay, but I wonder if you tap this, if it does anything, it like talks at all. Oh, just a beep. And I guess it goes back and forth to Bluetooth. My guess would be that it kind of senses anything that's connected is what I'm guessing, because what I didn't see was any kind of uh, manual. Now again, this was sent to me, so who knows if possibly it's a different box that you guys get, that's always, it, it sometimes happens, but mode, volume up and down, and power, so we're, we're on track there. Let's make sure I'm all connected. We're gonna open up my music here, and I'm gonna play, actually, we have to play something not through music, we're gonna play something that it's not going to get me a copyright strike because that's that's also kind of important. All right, so let's let's try something up here. Ready? Sounds nice, actually. Let's crank it up. Okay, let's find something a little more, maybe, I don't wanna say kicky, but you know what I mean. Um... Actually, again, you gotta, th it's just like $38 Canadian.
So on full volume, there's a bit of, bit of hiss there. Now I'm wondering if that's this song, right? So we'll try a different song. Decent low end. Wow. All right, okay. Let's get something else. A little more guitar-y, so you can see a different tone. Um, that's, that's surprising, actually. It's, uh, I didn't expect it, the, the low end to be anywhere as low, I guess, or as deep as it is coming from that. That's, a uh, huh, 30, 38 bucks right now, Canadian. That's like a, that's like $6 US, I think it is. Something like that. That's not right. But it's, that's a killer little deal. So if you are looking for a little, a little speaker, right? That's, that's not, that's not very big. You guys can see that. It's not very big. That could be portable. You take that, take that to the beach, throw it in the car. Throw, you could throw that in your backpack. You know, you're going, you're going to, to jam out somewhere. I'm, don't go far. I, I don't leave the house very much. But you want some good sound. You got a laptop, the speakers on your laptop aren't great. You, you got a tablet. You want to bring the party with you. Yeah. Yeah, you do. It's a cobs. But you don't but you're on a budget. You're on a budget. You don't got you don't got a lot of cash. You don't got a lot of cash. Strapped for cash. Because you bought yourself bought yourself a new a new phone or new computer. Yeah. That's pretty good. I'm uh, yeah, 38 bucks. You, the fact that it actually plays music, I think, is fantastic. So that's a win, guys. Uh, I'm gonna put links down below to their actual website and to their Amazon listing because yeah if you if you're if you're looking for maybe you're looking for a holiday gift idea for somebody everybody likes new bluetooth speakers yeah they do all right guys i'm going to leave you there links down below like i said head on over to the website i'm going to see if i can possibly get one of their maybe one of their tv sound bars cuz that's i'm curious now if this something this small sounds that good, I wonder what their little bit bigger ones would be like. Oh yeah, Sakabs, if you wanna, if you wanna wanna help me out, that'd be fantastic. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Again, links down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I think I might review my little TV. It'll be short. Nothing, nothing extravagant because it's a television, right? Okay, guys, I'm out. Later. Excited because I could finally use my XLR mics and try to get my little office second studio set up, and then of course it it just it wouldn't I couldn't get it to work properly, so I had all kinds of issues with that, and I'll put a link to that video if you guys want to see it so that. You guys, still, it, it may work for you. I'm not saying it, it won't work. We're all on a budget, yes? I ended up trying yeah, that, that this sounds, one. That sounds this one pretty by good. a company called Phoenix not, not Pro. Not Do the Phoenix TV. Phoenix Pro, and this is their I can imagine Phoenix their big one's Pro better. Oh, yes. PTX oh, yeah. 15 mixing console.